Hello, my name is Michael Creel. I'm a professor of economics at the Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona, and I'd like to introduce my econometrics notes, which are available at this uh, at this place. Um, you can see that there's a file econometrics.pdf. Uh, I'd like to open that up. Okay, this is a PDF document that has notes for two semesters worth of first year graduate level uh, econometrics. The first half of the notes deals with uh, linear regression, um, and then the second half of the notes deals with um, nonlinear models, potentially nonlinear models, used in looking at estimation methods like maximum likelihood and generalized method of moments. And then in the later chapters, there are some uh, more topical introductions to uh, more advanced methods. Uh, one of the distinguishing features of these notes is that they include links to code using the Julia language uh, embedded inside the notes. I find that uh, learning econometrics is, um, it's, uh, it helps a lot to see practical examples of uh, exactly what you're doing and you can study the details of how things are implemented by looking at the code and running the code and experimenting with it. Uh, to give a couple of examples, here in the uh, introductory chapter to econometrics, um, this chapter is discussing the relationship between data and economic theory and how the combination of the two can lead you to an econometric model. Um, Really, we can't say much, anything about data unless we have a theory behind to uh, help us interpret the data. And uh, there's a script which allows you to uh, work through uh, the things that are presented here. Okay, so if I click on this script link, uh, it's opened up in a, in a code editor and we can actually see exactly what was used to create the figure and if we like we can modify the, this uh, the script if i go up here and run it i get a reproduction of the figure that appears in the uh, in the notes okay going back out to the notes uh, a more uh, more, well, I would say a, a more involved example would be looking here at the chapter on uh, numeric optimization. Um, here uh, we look at how to maximize or minimize an objective function. We look at issues of uh, how to compute derivatives using, for example, um, automatic differentiation. We look at problems of multiple local op optima and so forth. Uh, and then at the end of the chapter, there's a, uh, a practical summary. If we click on that link, we go back to the code editor, and uh, you can see the, uh, several examples. This shows simply how uh, ordinary least squares uh, can be computed using the analytical formula, but if, uh, if we like, we can also get the same answer using uh, um, uh, numeric minimization, um, a few things related to, uh, to that. And then here's a, an example where we define an objective function. We can see what this objective function looks like. Okay, so we can see that this objective function has uh, several local maxima and, uh, and three local minima. Okay, so if we're trying to minimize that objective function, uh, we're going to have to worry about issues of finding the actual uh, global minimizer. Okay, using Julia's multiple dispatch, we can put the objective function in a form that's uh, ready to be used uh, for the minimization algorithms. I'll skip this part. Okay, and here we can see how to use uh, a minimization package in Julia to try to minimize that function. And you can see that we didn't actually find the global minimum in this run. We're at a local minimum. If I repeat the run a few times, okay, you can see that uh, every once in a while we do find the global minimum. 
but it depends upon the starting values that we use. Okay, so that's just uh, illustrating the need for caution when we're using a gradient-based minimization algorithm when we have an objective function that has multiple local minima. Okay, that's, that's just an example of uh, how the code is integrated into the notes to help us study issues uh, that are related to econometric methods. Okay, uh, so the, uh, the web page again is uh, right here. If you're interested in these uh, notes, you can get them from this source. Uh, there are instructions that show you how to uh, download the notes, how to configure them to use uh, Julia, and so forth. Okay, thank you for your attention.